primary goal is not to be hungry. My broken plate. You can't plan for everything. My travelers, I'm in store to the Lico. <sighs> so many videos now that I've arrived here in China. I don't like Chinese food. I shouldn't say that. I like some Chinese food. I don't like mass produced slop. Also, I have some dietary requirements makes the eating the generic rice, what could be some greenery, and some fatty meat that I probably won't eat anyway because it's red meat, means that I would end up eating nothing. So, in preparation for this, and because when I isolated in New Zealand, I was hungry. And I've never been hungry in my life before, clearly. It's primarily food. I don't usually travel with the second larger suitcase. I borrowed this one, slash never going to get back of oh, and my mum <laughs> to bring here. So my plan was, let's try and do three meals plus snacks, because, oh no. I bought a plate, and I like it's gonna crack down it. It is just one of those melon, melon mine ones and I just threw it in as it's actually it's literally the last thing that I threw in my suitcase today well yesterday because I'm like I need something flat I'll probably still use it <laughs> all right so the first thing you can see is a cucumber this was on sale at pack and save this week I went in on my last day and you know you walk through the fruit vegetable section first <laughs> Like, because I'm quite worried that I'm not going to have fruit and vegetables while I'm here. Unfortunately, I don't have a fridge. That was the first thing I asked. I have a silicone. I put this in the microwave to like steam veggies. I've been cooking salmon in it. So flipping handy for a microwave. So this will be for my future apartment. Some lolly cake and some laughing cow cheese. And I think I'm going to keep by the door by my shoes because that might be the coolest place. There seems to be a cold draft coming under the door. So I think I'm going to put it there. Um, it had made me some lolly cake and it was in the fridge. So it was right next to the cheese. So I'm like, I'm going to get grab it. Normally you keep lolly cake in the fridge. So again, I'm going to put this again. I'm going to put whole thing by the door. And I'm going to have to eat this quickly as well. Lolly cake for you non-kiwis is like a, it's a, it's a slice. You usually have it at like a kid's birthday party. It's got Eskimos cut up inside. It's almost on the bag. These are Eskimos. They're like lollies that you can see inside it. And it's like malt biscuits. Oh God, I really want a slice now that I've smelled it. And then you can see it's got coconut on the outside. It's a lot of sugar and fat and it's damn delicious. <laughs> and that's why mum makes it for me. But when she made it, I didn't know it was coming so soon. So that's great. I have a shopping bag full of food. I also threw in my <laughs> CCC pants because I didn't know where else to put them. I think I'm going to wear these tomorrow. <laughs> I have some new Ziploc bags. My vitamins for the next 14 days, just multivitamins, vitamin D, a few vitamin Bs, and vitamin C. I have two suitcases. My normal Samsonite that you've seen before on this channel, I think I've packed, so I don't have to open that. Underwear? I'm going to try these. I saw these at Chemist Warehouse, because now they've got them in New Zealand, which is fantastic. It's an appetite reducer. I am not trying to lose weight. This is not for weight loss at all, even though I could do with it. Fills up to 43% of the stomach and promotes a pleasant feeling of fullness. That's exactly what I need. I've never used these before. I don't know the efficacy of them at all. I have no idea. But yeah, yeah they just look like painkillers. Take two slim fit appetite reducer tablets with a full glass of water 30 minutes before three meals per day. I think I'm just going to make this my little pantry. I bought a sponge to do some dishes with. Not that I have many dishes. I couldn't find a bowl. I bought this at Kmart. I was looking for, they had one plastic bowl, but I was like, oh, really? This is a silicone container that just pops out. So, I think 
it wasn't very expensive. So I was like, that'll do it as a bowl and it's super squidgy and as you can see, it folds up. I did bring a couple of rolls of loo paper and I'm wishing that I bought more because I have weeks of isolation. It's not just these two weeks in Shanghai here. I have a mug which I bring with me anywhere. So this is a combination of watching a lot of videos. So I bought my own, just one of each, and a teaspoon. I bought the teaspoon for a purpose. And also a cutting knife. This is just a little Victorian knife. I have some of these items linked in the description box below. Ciao. I just grabbed this out of Anne's um, linen clapper. Ah, I'm sure she's not going to miss it. I also have a packing cube. This is the clothing I think I'm going to wear for the next two weeks. Yes. Well, it's basically the clothing that I work in because I'm working online and it's what I've been wearing most often, including my track pants. So that's that's why this is back here. I've made videos on actually this one, the marine one, but it was on sale. Was that a Boxing Day sale? Yes, I think it was. So I bought this and this is just part of a tub that I just haven't finished. But I did buy a collagen protein powder, which I have used before of theirs. Since I got home, I've pretty much been using Dose and & Co and I have really enjoyed it. My, I think it's the reason my hair has actually grown for the first time possibly in my life. This has got protein in it again because I'm wanting that, oh look. This is clearly a new one because this sticker is not on this one. Look at this. Backed by Chloe Kardashian. <laughs> cool. Okay, admittedly, she is the reason that I did find this brand. And I was in New Zealand at the time and I'm like, what is this? Why don't you know about this? And now I've not looked back. This is a brand new one that I haven't opened <laughs> because it's sealed with a piece of foil and just the lid there's no teaspoon so that's why I bought the teaspoon with me because there's no scoop with this it's just two heaped teaspoons this is the one so I'm glad I put it in a ziplock because you can hear it's like a very fine sand you can actually hear it so it hasn't even though and it was tightly kept in here it needs to be if you've got an open one Put it in the bag for good grief. Two heaped teaspoons. The nutritional information box cannot be right because this is double the size, double the weight. It's double the weight anyway. And yet it's less servings per pack. How the hell is that possible? I've got some socks because some people packed slippers, which is great. This hotel actually just gave me the hotel slippers, but you can't rely on that. They're just a pair of socks that I just wear around the house sometimes, but not very often because I'm not going anywhere. I've taken off my one pair of shoes that I have out that I wore on the plane that I'm not going to put on for the next 14 days. So a pair of socks, because this is just a tile floor. It's just been Christmas. I got a few things from like Santa and family members that happen to be food because they didn't know and I didn't know then that I was going to be traveling so soon so it's worked out quite well I got this from Santa I got this from Santa what I'm thinking is three per week so then that's three weeks of biscuits and I've got a ziplock bag for non-New Zealanders they're just a big cookie muesli bars of course and for Americans granola bars shapes sometimes you do you just eat out of boredom so you do need these snack things so don't be hungry need protein so I bought Octislum which I've never tried before last week and my thought was because you can have two to three of these per day I'm not doing these for weight loss, even though these are formulated meal replacement for weight control. Because you can see I've got a lot of other snacks. So this is not for weight loss purposes. This is for 16.5 grams of protein for a meal. I don't know because I just am so confused over this stuff. But see how they've got Opti Slim. 
they've got Opti Slim Life, this is LCD, this is VLCD, I don't know what the difference is, but I'm basically hoping that this is going to be lunch slash dinner possibly. Really a whole bag full of junk. You have to think about what can I guarantee that I'm going to have access to. I knew there'd be bottled water and I knew there'd be a jug to boil water. I am going to be having some Rivita with this laughing cow cheese because this does need to be eaten and some cucumber and definitely some little cake for dessert. My little poo poo poo. I'm going to make a video on this but this is my body wash. I bought this Saad Wonder soap with me. It's a stain remover because you have to do your own laundry. Unlike in Australia and New Zealand where I think, well definitely when I went through in New Zealand you could send a bag worth. I don't know if it was a bag per room or if it was a bag per person. It's ideal for hand washing woolens and can be used to wash dishes, pots and pans. So I can wash this with the soap. I haven't done it yet because I haven't opened it up because I didn't know that they would give laundry liquid. They just gave a little one. If you're going to do snacks like two minute noodles, it's no picnic even though it looks like all I'm going to do is picnic. <laughs> Bring your coffee. You're going to have a jug. I've bought my cup of tea. I don't mind water at all. Like I drink, that's pretty much what I drink all of the time. So I'm not bothered by it but if you need flavoured whatever bring it. I'm hoping that it lasts for two weeks solid. You can see I've put some extras away for the next set of isolation in the next province. Hopefully that you are in a hotel where you can order stuff. Hopefully you have somebody on the ground that can order you stuff. Hopefully you can then order things to try and see you through because also some of the snacks here aren't great. Things from home can, are more expensive and I don't mind paying import prices but when it's constant <laughs> I'm like okay for the sake of an extra bag of cost plus the cost of these things knowing that A I can't get some of this stuff here and B that it's things I do like. Some things I haven't tried but I found this video helpful. I really do hope it helps somebody because definitely this the videos that I watched have influenced these choices that I've made, but I didn't see anybody with these sachets, but I also don't think people are planning on meal replacing entirely. Enjoy. I did get tuna, and I also bought some sardines. Yeah, the protein's quite high. I should have bought more than one. It's gonna keep me full. I also bought some dates, and having lived in the Middle East, these are like, I got a small handful, but I know that they're sweet, and then, Yes, I bought the tiniest little milk I could. Yeah, I just got the magical knock on the door. This is dinner. Oh gosh, it's like cold. I don't know what that is. 